the AccuBlade system was something I was completely ignorant of. I'd never heard of it. I didn't know anyone who used it. I had no idea what it did or didn't do. I had it one day. I think I had it five minutes before I thought, this is miraculous. I've never seen anything like it. I have never looked back at that moment and thought anything other than my life was changed as a laser surgeon. Well, it did something no other laser does, which is to say it controls the spot, the laser spot, for you so that your spot is never in one place. Now, we're talking about a very small area, but under a microscope, even though it's a small area, the spot is moving across arguably a large area of your operative field. The important part of that is that you are lasing, you are delivering that cutting energy to a very specific depth of tissue in one area without regards to your ability to smoothly move the joystick back and forth. I, I'll say I prided myself, I'm not a particularly proud person, but I, I prided myself in having a very smooth pursuit, saccadic movements of my, of my fingers uh, so as to prevent cutting too deeply in one spot and not deeply enough in another and making sort of a jagged um, laser front. This device increased my ability to smoothly cut through soft tissue so much that on my first contact with it, I immediately knew this was an absolute sea change in, in laser technology. Well, there are a lot of systems, and, and I think the microspot technology and the ultrapulse or superpulse, those various pulsing laser technologies have been around for a while. And they do provide a benefit to tissue uh, preservation. They are accurate. They can deliver laser energy where you want it to go. What they don't have is they don't have the scanning robotic, basically robotic joystick. So that if I, if I don't touch the joystick at all, I can program it to go in a circle, in a line, in various configurations of size and, and intensity uh, such that I can ablate just what I want to ablate and preserve what I want to preserve. So if I'm lifting up a, a flap of, of tissue and I'm actually incising this tissue and trying to lift up a flap of viable tissue and then vaporize the scar that's underneath it, I can do this without damaging this surface tissue. And then I lay the tissue back down at a better depth. Because that spot is moving and I don't have to worry about how smoothly I'm moving the joystick, it accomplishes the cutting and ablating in, a so much, in so much more a precise way that it's tremendously better. I can move my finger accurately, but I can't beat a robot. A robot has me beat, hands down. There's no question. And that's what does it. That's what does it. It preserves tissue. It accurately cuts. It allows you, that's, actually that's even one dimension. That does it, but it also um, allows you to um, to operate with a laser more safely. As the scanning technology can take down levels of papilloma until you know you are to the base and no more. The estimate is, is something on the order of 250 microns or, or a quarter of a millimeter uh, per scan and I think that's probably accurate because that's, that's what it looks like is you're just taking uncapping and uncapping. It's, it's almost like taking sausage cuts of the tissue until you're down to the tissue you want to preserve. And I think this laser does that in a way that a traditional, even an ultra pulse laser would not without the scanning. The scanning is the key.